Hi folks, Elgin Subway Surfer Bowling here, your creative caricature marketing consultant, and this is part two in a series of lectures that I call Gig Basics. And this is targeted towards caricature artists who are in the business of doing party caricature. In a previous video, I mentioned the importance of confirming the address with the client. I can I uh, focused on being enthusiastic about the gig, thanking the client, getting to the job early to set yourself up for success. There's something that I noticed that some caricature artists do that's wrong. Not all of them do it, but a lot of them do this, and this is it. You're at a gig. Guests are loving your pictures. You do your caricature. You hand, your, you hand them the picture. You put it in a plastic bag and go on to the next customer, and you do this for the whole party. You have no way of knowing, or no way, rather, of assuring that you're going to get another party. Here's why. You might get another party out of that host. But you're setting yourself up for failure of not getting additional business from uh, the people that you draw if you don't have two things, one of two things, a business card and a flyer. Now this should be automatic. This should be simple. But, I'm, but you will be surprised how many caricature artists don't include in the bag that they're handing the person a flyer or a business card. They might take out a business card and hand it to the person if they ask. But why do you need to ask? It doesn't make any sense. Anytime you give or any time, rather, you're drawing a person. That's a potential customer, especially if they like your drawing. So always, always, always make it a point to leave them with something additional. Now, how do you make a good flyer? How do you make a good business card? Uh, let me just say right off the back that I like flyers better than business cards. Number one, they're bigger. Number two, I can show off my art even more on a flyer than I can on a business card. And number three, people, even with best intentions, sometimes lose or throw away business cards. But if the flyer is good, they will keep the flyer, and it becomes a mini poster, a mini advertisement uh, for your business. Make sure you leave behind something for the customer to con reconnect with you with. I'm telling you this works. I've had people call me back years later. Oh, I see, you know, I see on your flyer, you know, that blah, 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 that you do this, and I remember this event. And also, by having a flyer, the customer has the opportunity to make other flyers and hand out to their friends and family. In the next video, in part three, I'm going to talk about what constitutes a good flyer or a good business card. Essential things that you need to know to uh, set yourself up for success. And I'll cover that in part three of the video. This is Elgin, Subway Surfer Bowling, your creative caricature marketing consultant.